Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you who are new here, my name is Brittany. I'm a health coach and nutritionist, and my channel is all about helping you to create delicious low FODMAP meals to improve your digestive health. If you're into it, subscribe for more low FODMAP recipe tutorials, as well as my tips and tricks for managing IBS and living a low FODMAP lifestyle. Okay, so today we are making fish tacos, which is one of my favorite meals. It's definitely my family's favorite meal. They love fish taco night. So I love this recipe because it is quick and easy and you're gonna use all of the same ingredients basically to make like a bunch of different things, which is one of the reasons I like to really eat on theme. Is that, does that make sense? Like if I'm eating like Mexican food, the side dishes are all gonna be Mexican. Like all, that way you're using the same ingredients, the same flavors. So like you have just like a cohesive meal. So in addition to the fish tacos, we're also going to be making some salsa, some guac, some black beans, and some crema to put on top of the tacos. All right, so let's just get started. Okay, we're gonna start by preheating our oven to 350 degrees, and then take a casserole dish and oil the bottom. You can use garlic oil for this, but I don't think it's super necessary. Give it a little swirl to spread it all around. And then we're going to place our fish in the oil. I'm using tilapia today. And then we're just going to give it a generous dusting of salt, pepper, coriander, and paprika. If you are sensitive to nightshades, you're gonna wanna skip the paprika or you can substitute turmeric instead. We're gonna flip those over and then do the same exact thing. I don't typically use measurements for this recipe because I just feel like it's so easy and it's really hard to mess up. Okay, then we're going to cover this with foil. Make sure it's nice and secure. You want it to be sealed so that the steam is going to help cook the fish and keep it moist. And then we're going to put it into the oven for 25 minutes at 350 degrees. While that's cooking, we're gonna move on to our black beans. So I have 14 ounces of black beans here, drained and rinsed. We're gonna add that to a pot with one tablespoon of garlic oil, half a cup of water, and a quarter teaspoon of salt, pepper, cumin, and oregano. We're gonna cook this on medium high and bring it to a strong simmer. And then we're going to squish some of the beans against the side of the pot. This is going to help to release some of the starches and thicken our beans. While that's simmering away on the stove, we're going to move on to preparing the rest of our sides. Would you be able to see inside this bowl? How are they gonna see the guac? Can we do it higher? Rolling. Okay, we're gonna start with one bunch of green onions. We're gonna divide them by three, throw a third into your blender, and then chop up the rest for our guac and for our garnish. Next, we're going to take a bunch of cilantro, separate the stems from the leaves, and throw our stems into the blender. Then chop up the rest of these, and again, split it between our guac and our garnish. Next, we're going to add half a jalapeno to our salsa. If you wanted to make this recipe a little bit lower FODMAP, then I would suggest using jar jalapeno that have been pickled. Oh ho ho, I didn't cut it very nice, but. Next, we're gonna take one large avocado and add that to our guac. And finally, we're going to remove the tips from these radishes. Make sure to wash your radishes really well. And then we're going to throw two of them into our blender for our salsa. Then mince up these last two and again, split them between our guac and our garnish. I like to give these a mince because it reminds me of a minced red onion. Next, we're going to add a tablespoon of garlic oil to the blender, as well as a pinch of salt and a 14 ounce can of diced tomatoes. Make sure your diced tomatoes don't have any garlic or onion in them. Next, we're going to blend this, um, starting on low and then increasing our speed. And you really just want to get it to a thickness that you like. I like a pretty well blended salsa. And you can see the more that you blend it, the more the color is going to change.
Okay, for our guac, we're going to add another tablespoon of garlic oil and the juice of half a lime. We're also going to add the other half of this lime to our salsa, I forgot to do that. Add a pinch of salt to our guac, some fresh pepper and half of a tomato diced. We're gonna give that a good mix. All right, give it a taste, adjust for salt, and then set it aside. Next, we're going to be making our crema. So we're going to start with a quarter cup of mayonnaise. Next, we're going to add two tablespoons of garlic oil. And the juice of half a lemon. I like to squeeze lemons through my fingers so I can catch all the seeds. Mix this up with our tiny whisk and then give it a taste to see where we're at. I wanted this to taste a little bit more like crema, less so like mayonnaise, so I added one more tablespoon of garlic oil and the other half of this lemon. I will have the final measurements for all of these dishes in the description below. Next, we're gonna finish this off with some pepper, coriander, and paprika. We're just using the same flavors that we used in our fish, and that way it's going to complement it really nicely. Again, if you're sensitive to nightshades, leave out the paprika, or you could substitute turmeric. All right, now it's been 25 minutes, so let's grab our fish out of the oven. All right, now let's check on our beans. They are nice and thick. And then I have a couple of corn tortillas that I have wrapped in a wet paper towel and steamed in the microwave for about a minute. Okay, now you can see our fish is perfect. It's nice and juicy, but it's also tender and flaky. So we're just gonna cut that up and place it in our tacos. Add a little green cabbage that I've shredded. And then top with our first layer of crema. We're also going to add a little bit of guacamole to make these tacos especial. And then hit it with a little cilantro, green onion, and a radish. We're also going to top it off with a second layer of crema because the crema, in my opinion, is the best part and just makes the fish tacos. Yeah! We're also going to plate up some of our guac and our salsa. And now we've got a little Mexican feast. All right guys, here we have our fish tacos and our chips, our salsa, our guac and our beans all plated up. Now let's give it a taste test. I'm super excited because I haven't eaten anything all day. Mmm. This is so good. Like I said, to me, I feel like the crema just makes this dish. It's like, it's like what makes a fish taco a fish taco, you know? The other standout for this recipe, in my opinion, are the radishes. I think they are a great substitute for onions, for red onions in particular. Perfect for tacos and our salsa and our guac, because it not only gives you that, that like red onion texture, but it kind of gives you a little bit of the color also. Yeah, and the spice, and like the, the, on, the bite, the bite of the radish, you know? So we do have quite a few things here that contain FODMAPs. The low FODMAP serving for tortillas is two if you're using regular corn tortillas. If you're using corn tortillas that don't have any gums or added fibers to it, you can technically have three. The low FODMAP serving size for beans is two tablespoons. Same thing with the guac. So if you're in your elimination phase, I would just skip the beans altogether, probably skip the guac too, and then just stick with the tacos and the salsa. I think that's the safest thing to do. But once you go through your challenge phase and you're in maintenance and you kind of know what your body can handle, like me, you can have it all. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and like this video if you found it helpful. If you're excited to try it, subscribe, go follow me on Instagram, and I will see you next time.